lot of people going to be out celebrating this evening. Mm -hmm. Responsibly, we hope. We hope. We hope. But yes. they're going to be outside probably and inside. So yes. what can they expect? It looks like nice weather. Certainly going to be dry. The fog is going to be rolling back in from the coast into the bay and even into some of the inland valleys. But we're all just waiting on that Saturday chance of rain. The storm system that's going to be causing that is still way out over the Pacific. But it's looking more and more favorable in terms of giving some decent rainfall amounts to the Bay Area. So let's switch over to Futurecast and track it. All we're going to see tonight is that fog spilling into some of the inland valleys. Once it dissipates, temperatures are going to be pretty nice on Friday. A gradual increase in cloud cover in the afternoon and evening. The clouds really thicken up Friday night with a chance of a few showers rolling in already before the sun comes up on Saturday. But the best chance of the most widespread and the heaviest rain is going to be during the daylight hours on Saturday. You can see widespread rain already by 8 o'clock on Saturday. And it's going to come at us in waves throughout the day. Make sure you're flexible with any outdoor plans. It's not going to rain everywhere all the time, but it is going to be a generally wet day. And there are going to be some pockets of slightly heavier rain. Nothing in terms of flooding problems, but just some heavier downpours embedded within the light shower activity. Then it's gone. Once the sun goes down Saturday evening, we're going to see decreasing clouds and the second half of the weekend is looking dry. So let's add it up. This is forecast model data. It's never perfect, but it gives us an idea of what to expect. And this is a reasonable scenario for the most part. A quarter inch to a half inch of rain on a widespread basis for the Bay Area. Not sure I'm buying that nine tenths of an inch of rain for Fairfield, but if you get parked underneath a couple of those heavier downpours, you could easily approach one inch of total rainfall. But on a more widespread, consistent basis, a quarter inch to a half inch of rain, not a drought buster, but it definitely does help as we approach the end of the rainy season. In the high Sierra, it's going to be a snowmaker. Winter weather advisory from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Saturday. We're not talking about heavy snow, two to five inches of snow above 5,000 feet, seven plus inches of snow above 7,000 feet. So make sure you're allowing plenty of extra time if you're going to be traveling that direction on US 50 or I-80. Looking outside right now, you can see that fog hanging out along the coast. The temperature downtown is only 55 degrees. It's only 58 degrees in Oakland. The onshore breeze definitely having an impact. Farther inland, temperatures are in the mid to upper 60s, even 70 degrees right now in Concord. But later on tonight, temperatures are going to drop down to the upper 30s and low 40s inland with mid to upper 40s around the bay and along the coast. Temperatures near average around the bay, low to mid 60s, but farther above normal, farther inland to with that sunshine for much of the day reaching up into the low 70s. Let's we'll zoom in for a closer look. Upper 50s along the coast tomorrow afternoon. Upper 60s down the peninsula and around the south end of the bay, but likely to climb above 70 degrees in the Santa Clara Valley, including 72 in San Jose, one of the warm spots around the region. Close to 70 degrees for most inland parts of the East Bay. Not as warm around the bay, but not bad for the middle of March. Low to mid 60s with upper 60s to around 70 degrees for most of the North Bay. And temperatures farther north also topping out right around 70 degrees. Saturday will be significantly cooler with that good rain chance, but then we dry out for the second half of the weekend, and then we warm up quite a bit. Monday is the warming day. Tuesday is the warmest day, with highs in the mid to upper 70s around the bay into the 80s inland. We're going to be in near record territory for our high temperatures Tuesday and Wednesday. It's the second and third full days of spring, but it's going to feel more like early summer by the middle of next week.